The Midline Theorem. DNA's Eddy Corner. So according sa Midline Theorem, ang segment na nabuo ng dahil sa midpoints ng dalawang sides ng isang triangle ay parallel dito sa third side at ang sukat nito ay half or kalahate ng sukat ng third side. So, sa ating given triangle, ang midline or mid-segment nating tinatawag ay ang line segment EH. So, in triangle art, line segment EH is the mid-segment or midline. And EH is parallel to the third side which is line segment TR. At ang kanyang sukat, EH is equal to half of the length of TR. At yon ang sinasabi dito sa midline theorem. Now, let's use the midline theorem para masolve ang mga sumusunod na problems. Number one, we're going to find DA if PB is 30. We have here triangle EBP. So, our mid-segment here or midline is line segment DA. So, ano ang sukat ng DA kung ang third side, yung PB natin, is 30? So, to solve that, gamitan natin ang midline theorem. So, ang sabi sa midline theorem, ang sukat ng mid-segment or midline ay kalahate ng third side. So, dito, ang sukat ng DA is equal to 1 half times PB or DA is equal to PB divided by 2. By substitution, maaari nating masolve ang length ng DA. So, DA is equal to 1 half times 30. Ang PB is equal to 30 according to our given, so substitute lamang natin. So, 1 half times 30 or 30 divided by 2, that is equal to 15. Therefore, ang length ng DA or ng mid-segment natin ay 15. Next problem, still in triangle EBP, we're going to find the length of EB given the length of EA which is 6. So, we know that in this triangle, ang ating mga midpoints ay point D at saka ang point A. So, sa side EB, mayroon itong midpoint A. Ang midpoint ay nagahate ng isang segment into two congruent parts. So, ibig sabihin, ang EB ay nahate into two equal parts. Para makuha ang EB, i-derive natin ang equation na ito. Sabi dito, ang EA ay kalahate ng EB. So, magiging ganito ang ating equation na gagamitin. So, we just have to multiply EA by 2 to get the measurement of EB. So, substitute lamang natin ang given. EB is equal to twice the measurement of EA. So, ang magiging equation na natin is EB is equal to 2 times the given which is 6. So, again, Hinahanap natin yung isang buong side. Ang given is yung kalahate. So, para makuha yung isang buong side, let's just multiply the length of EA by 2. So, EB is equal to 12. Now, let's proceed to this next problem. We have here triangle ART or triangle ART and ang bawat side na AT at AR ay mayroong midpoint. So sa AT, side AT, ang midpoint ay yung E. Sa side AR, we have H as the midpoint. So if we connect those midpoints, magkakaroon tayo ng mid-segment or midline which is line segment EH. So ang given natin, EH is equal to 3x minus 2. And then TR is equal to 9x minus 13. So we're going to find the value of x and then the length of EH, yung midline natin, and yung length ng third side, which is TR. So let's start sa pagsasolve ng value ng x para makuha natin yung length ng midline at ng third side. So to get the value of x, gagamitin natin yung midline theorem. So, EH is equal to 1 half of TR. So, dito, okay, ang midline natin or mid-segment, ang sukat nito, again, ay equal sa kalahate ng third side, which is TR. So, since may mga given tayo, ipalit natin yan dito sa ating equation. So, EH, palitan natin ng 3x minus 2. 
And then, yung TR, papalitan natin ng 9x minus 13. Now, bakit naging 9x minus 13 all over to na ito? So, ito po ay pareho rin nitong 1 half times TR. So, again, yung TR, ita times natin sa 1, so magiging nasa numerator siya. Tapos, yung TR, may denominator na 1, 2 times 1, that is 2. Okay? So, same lang yan ng 9x minus 13 all over 2. Now, para mas mapabilis ang ating pagsasolve, mag-multiply tayo both sides ng 2 para ma-eliminate natin ang denominator na 2 na nandito sa right side ng equation. So, ang mangyayari kapag nag-multiply na tayo ng 2, kung i-multiply natin yung 2 dito sa numerator, okay, maaari na nating ma-eliminate itong denominator na 2. Kasi 2 divided by 2, that is equal to 1, may iiwan ngayon yung 9x minus 13. Now, dito sa kabilang side, we have 3x minus 2. Okay, multiply natin yan by 2. So, if we're going to multiply 2 dito sa ating binomial, we have 2 times 3x, we have 6x. And then, 2 times the negative 2 here, we have negative 4. Okay, so meron na tayong bagong equation, which is 6x minus 4 is equal to 9x minus 13. So, ang gagawin natin is gagamit tayo ng addition property of equality para ma-isolate natin yung variable sa iisang side. So, we have 6x minus 4 is equal to 9x minus 13. Dito muna tayo sa left side. Kailangan maiwan dito yung may variable na x. So, mag-add tayo both sides ng 4, positive 4, para ma-eliminate natin itong negative 4. Because negative 4 plus 4, that is equal to 0. May iwan yung 6x. Sa kabilang side naman, 9x, kopyahin lamang natin. And then, negative 13 plus 4, that is equal to negative 9. So, ito na yung ating panibagong equation. Now, dito sa ating right side, kailangan naman natin ma-eliminate yung 9x. So, para ma-eliminate natin yan, kung ito ay positive 9x, mag-add tayo both sides ng negative 9x. So, i-simplify natin ang bawat side. 6x minus 9x, that is equal to negative 3x. And then, 9x minus 9x, that is 0, may iwan ngayon yung negative 9. Now, para x lamang yung naandito or maiwan sa ating left side, kailangan natin mag-multiply both sides ng negative 1 third or mag-divide tayo both sides ng negative 3. So, ang target natin, maging 1 lang yung numerical coefficient ng x. Negative 3 divided by negative 3, that is 1. Yun na yung target natin. Hindi na natin isusulat yung 1 dito sa unahan ng x. So, x is equal to negative 9 divided by negative 3, that is equal to positive 3. Therefore, the value of x para dito sa ating given problem is positive 3. Next. Since mayroon na tayong value ng x, which is positive 3, maaari na natin makuha ang mga length ng EH, yung mid-segment natin, at yung third side, which is TR. So, by substitution, kunin muna natin yung length ng EH. So, EH is equal to 3x minus 2 according to our given. So, yung x, papalitan natin ng 3. So, that will be equal to the product of 3 and 3. Okay, minus 2. So, 3 times 3, that is equal to 9, minus 2. EH, or yung mid-segment natin, that is equal to 7. Next, we have the third side, TR, that is equal to 9x minus 13. Yung x, palitan natin ng 3, so that will be 9 times 3. 9 times 3, and then kopyahin lamang natin yung negative 13. So, 9 times 3 is 27, minus 13, TR is equal to 14. So, nakompleto na natin ang mga hinihingi sa ating measurements. Kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito, huwag kalimutang pindutin ang like button, mag-subscribe, at i-hit ang bell button para sa marami pang videos.